Hi everyone, my name's Claudia, and I'm 19 years old. My hobby is dancing. When I was free, my parents first took me to gymnastics. Later, I joined dancing classes, and that's where I found myself. When I was four, mom left me and dad, and dad had to raise me all by himself. A bit later, he met my stepmother, Patricia. She was kind of weird, but she loved my dad with all her heart. We almost never talked with her. A few years ago, when I was 17, my dad died. He had a heart attack. He never visited any doctors and just ignored the pain. I saw him suffer. I should have persuaded him to see a doctor. I felt guilty and bitter. I lost the person I love. Stepmother was also saddened. She worked as an ordinary manager and earned very little money. We barely made ends meet. I did well at school, but it wasn't enough for my stepmother. <coughs> Being stressed out about the difficult situation we were in, she made our relationship even more tense. She told me that as a 17-year-old girl, I was mature enough to start working. She didn't care that I had to go to school and perform well. Then I also had dancing classes. All this took a lot of time. In response, she said that these classes were costly, but all my friends and choreographers were there. How could I quit? She said that I had to find myself a part-time job, otherwise she would stop paying for my classes. I agreed. She talked to her boss and I had to start working with her at the same place, doing petty work. I had to make coffee for our boss and fetch documents. After a while, I learned how things worked in that place. I even began to like it. Working was about a completely different atmosphere as compared to school. Everyone was older than me. I thought a lot of working adults as serious people who are focused on their job and work all the time. But the reality was different. I can't say for other places, but here the team was very united and friendly. I quickly adapted to the new environment, and a few months later the management began to give me more difficult tasks. For example, I had to sell goods over the phone, or tell new employees about their main responsibilities and the office in general. I'm a quick learner. I performed all the tasks easily and in time. And when I turned 18, I was offered to start working officially, and I agreed. Since then, my studies left much to be desired. I devoted all my time to my work and dancing classes, and I only had time for dancing over the weekend. I used to come home after school and had to work as a call center operator, selling goods. I enjoyed this. I liked the feeling of achieving my goals and being good at what I did. A year later, after I graduated from high school, I was off to become as an assistant manager. This position was higher than my stepmother worked in, and I immediately said yes. They had great expectations for me, but since the time I assumed the new role, strange things began to happen. Pens in the manager's office wouldn't write, documents had flaws, although I remembered that I'd filled them out correctly. The manager began to raise his voice at me, and I didn't understand what was happening. But it was definitely not my fault. Someone seemed to envy me, but I had no idea who it could be. I had a good relationship with everyone, except for my stepmother, who was almost completely stopped talking to me, but I just ignored the situation. Once I had to make a coffee, I stepped away for half a minute, made the coffee, and gave it to boss. Then I left his office. A minute later, I heard some rumble. I rushed into the office and saw my boss lying on the floor. I called an ambulance. He had to go for a stomach lavage and was told that he'd been poisoned. Without thinking twice, he fired me. I tried to explain it wasn't my fault, but he wouldn't even listen. He thought that one way or another, firing me would put an end to his problems. At home, I and my stepmother had a serious conversation. She said that I'd achieve a lot and I could enter a college just as I wanted. She would pay for my dancing classes meanwhile. The way she acted seemed weird to me. Wasn't she the one telling me I had to settle down and start working? Then the penny dropped. I asked her whether it was about envy. She froze and began to deny my assumption. That made me sure I was right. At the age of 19, I achieved more than she did, but it didn't give her the right to put spokes in my wheels. After all, she wanted me to become more serious, and I simply proved to her that I was capable of achieving goals. I tried to calm down and explain to her that envy was the dirtiest feeling ever. She did all these awful things just to make them fire me. She said she was ashamed. She got too emotional and went too far. She meant to put a stop to it, but it was too late. I forgave her because it was difficult for her to raise me all by herself, and she didn't have any biological children. I was admitted to a college and find myself a part-time job, which still left me enough time for studying and dancing. My stepmother continued working at the same place. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to write in the comments what you think about jealousy.